Hi everyone, my name is Greg Durrett. I'm, I'm an assistant professor at the University of Texas at Austin. And I want to tell you about the area of computer science that I work in, which is called natural language processing. I think this is a really exciting area. There's been a lot of cool stuff that's happened in the last few years. So I want to tell you a little bit about that, show you some with kind of hands-on experience how some of those things work and give you an idea of what companies like Google are doing inside their systems. So let's start by talking about what natural language processing is. So I'll just start with kind of defining these two pieces of it. The first is that we're talking about natural languages. Natural languages are human languages rather than computer languages. So for example, English, Chinese, Spanish, etc. Not Python, Java. And then we are processing these languages, meaning we're trying to do things with them automatically. So we want to build systems that can take things that you write or say and do stuff with them. And what, kind of, what, what should these systems be able to do? What am I talking about here? So for example, Siri or whatever you know, interface you use if you want to talk to your phone. You could say things like set an alarm for 8 a.m. tomorrow morning and your phone will do it. And then you can ask about your alarms. And you know, your phone actually kind of understood what you were asking for and managed to set your alarm. So why is this natural language processing? Because we asked it something in natural language. We didn't have to go in and uh, kind of push the right buttons or frame this in a computer language. We were instead just able to ask it like we would ask any other person. And so there's lots of ways to ask about this alarm and the system's able to handle this. Another really cool application that's you know, gotten a lot better over the last 10 years is something like Google Translate. So machine translation is another great example of the same kind of technology where what we can do is take a sentence in Chinese here and translate it into English. Now, if you're taking a foreign language class, you know, you're probably learning things like how words translate into other words. And so you might think, OK, well, maybe I can build a system that just takes each word and looks it up in some kind of a dictionary and then translate this, this sentence word by word. That doesn't work. There are too many kind of reorderings that need to happen when you translate from Chinese into English here. And generally, it's very hard to write down all the rules you need to do this kind of translation. So this suggests that this is going to be a very hard problem to solve. And we are, might need some new tools other than things that you're going to see in introductory programming classes. A third, and in my opinion, one of the coolest new things that, that we've seen from NLP is the ability to answer questions. So if you type in a question into Google, these days it won't just return a list of pages about that question, but sometimes it'll actually be able to answer it directly. So if you ask how many visitor centers are there in Rocky Mountain National Park, Google will pull up a bunch of pages, maybe including this Wikipedia page, and be able to identify that the park has a total of five visitor centers is a good answer to this question and actually extract the answer five. So in this case, you, you know, we see that the article is talking about visitor centers and the question is talking about visitor centers. But generally, this is a much harder problem than you can solve with basic string processing. We need some kind of stronger systems in order to do this. And so that's what we're going to be talking about in this module. So our goals here are to learn what NLP is about. And we're going to start by talking about some basic ideas from machine learning. Machine learning is the idea of fitting a statistical model to examples of a problem we want to solve, basically to teach a computer how to solve that same problem. You're going to see an example of a problem then called language modeling, and you're going to get hands-on experience with this. This is very similar to something like the predictive text on your phone. It's going to be able to help predict what word is going to come next after some stuff that you've typed. And I think this is a really cool application because some of the latest and most exciting NLP systems from companies like Google and a company called OpenAI are powered by more sophisticated versions of this type of language model. So you're going to get some experience working with a simple version of this. And then we're going to play around with a web demo that's going to show you just how powerful these things can be. And we're going to talk about some of the most recent technological developments from these things. So those are the goals of uh, what we're going to be talking about here. And we're going to di start diving into these pieces in the next videos. That's the end of this segment.